Got a corner piece. I see yeah. it. I see it. Pro I see progress. Man, there you go. Ready, set, vlog. So what do we got here, Victor? We have a whole pile of bottles that came from Chalk Creek, out 100 miles from here. We chuck them in. So now we have some nice fine wine to have. Okay. Who who all donated these? Ah, uh, different restaurants, hotels from all over the place donated these bottles. And what we are doing is we are taking off the labels. Yeah, we're we're soaking them to this labeling factory. <laughs> this is where we remove all the labels so that the bottle can be broken and we have the right piece to use. These that are already been delabeled. So we oh do Lord, all that. this was honey, see? <laughs> yep. This was honey. I could have taken that honey. You're ready to walk on glass, right? No, you're not. <laughs> I'm not ready to walk on glass, but I came to scrape the glass and I came to do everything, break the glass, but I was not prepared to walk on the glass. But I'm not afraid to walk on the glass. I will try and walk on the glass. <laughs> Why you need to try? You just gotta do it. I already told you, Ronald, you just do it. It's like Nike, you don't play around, you just do what you gotta do, okay? That's great. I believe in you. You can walk on glass, baby. You can walk on water when we're done with you. Um, as long as you're beside me holding my hand, I think I should do just fine. <laughs> we're about to go to the store to buy some of the break things, some of the things that we need. So where are we going, Victor? We're heading to Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> you're heading to Pine Lumber Company. Owned what? by the Manas. <laughs> No, there's nowhere. So we are here at a uh, lumber shop. Hey, this is Home Depot. This yeah, this is their Home Depot. <laughs> We're getting wood for our breakthrough. Um, it's one of it's one of the things that Bird does in Seminole. So, so you have to actually you can see a glimpse on our videos, but you actually have to go to the events to see what it's really about. This one, you like this one? Ready? Yes. One, two, three. Ow. Still hurts. <laughs> Don't worry, he's weak. It's gonna work. So this is like a green, green corn, okay? Now what's inside this green corn? Is this? Oh, see there? That's huh. that's it. And then you cut off, you shave all the young corn. Oh, and that's what he's doing over there. Mm -hmm. He's doing like this. He cuts it off and comes like that. That and leave a little cow. That goes to the cows. And the cows make the cows. The cows eat that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Are these your chickens? Yeah. They just hang around? Yeah, they hang around. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, Dion, this is what we just picked up? Yeah, baby, this is a tamale that I told you about. And this is, you know how LJ is a sauce guy? Look at what Ronald's doing there. That's a lot of sauce in there, so. I, I haven't got any sauce yet. I'm still working on it. <laughs> but just to let you know though, um, LJ, one of the things you gotta know about this is that in Belize, we, we don't give you boneless chicken, right? So just be careful when you're digging in there that you're gonna be eating. No problem. So what's this, Bert? Reborn. So we got the wood for one of our breakthroughs. Now our other breakthrough is bending steel rebar with your throat. However, they are super long, so we have to cut them. All right, we're going to a second place because uh, the first place the rebar was in the right side. It's too big and too small. You have to get it just right. I don't know if I have the egg, and then if I have any more, I'll get it. No, then that's three eighths. Okay, yeah. This is the one you want to Now what we have here, situation being that I'm now on a rest break and my work colleagues are doing very good with the bottles. Let's see what they have to say with their experience with this dealing, the peeling of the bottles. Say hi. Hey. Hi. How are you guys doing with the bottles? Well, now, 
the seedling here we're breaking we're, we're peeling some balls so they could go to the back and being break right now so right now my finger is getting a little stiff because it's about some balls here i uh, saw you have help is it difficult to be de-peeling those labels no it's not really you know because you have some spatulas and Soak them in water and soak so it's kind of easy to come off at the moment. So you came prepared? Yeah, we came prepared. That's great, that's great. Yeah. And with all our efforts, this is the amount of bottles we have already peeled. Quite numerous. But not as numerous as the one that we have behind <laughs> this gentleman right there. Soon, we go into the back. We're going to see where the action is taking place. Let's take a walk. I'm gonna grab the bottle. Oh wait, this have instructions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're gonna grab the bottle with one hand. You're gonna put it on the ground. Uh huh. Grab the hammer. You're gonna hit it. Just hit it. Yep. One, right. one stroke. Ah. There you go. There you go. You did it. That kind of cool. <laughs> All good. That. That's what turns into that over there. And later on, you'll see. It's really going to be a breakthrough because if you walk on it, it's going to break. <laughs> Hopefully or, it doesn't go through your feet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're vlogging in the dark. There's no light out here at all. Only the light from like the, the moon. And I'm showing LJ how everything here is really humid. You can see it there. So what we're going to do is go check the uh, glass that we worked on today. So that is the glass that we did today. This is the glass that we still have to break. Hey guys, this is Bert. And I want you guys to know that you can like, comment, subscribe, and make it happen. And, and guess what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you on the other side.